Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omanus and today I will review the fourth studio album by the alternative rock band Incubus. I think they are alternative rock now because they used to be alternative metal and uh, new metal of sorts. And there's still like influences on there on this album, but it's definitely significantly less. They're more of a just typical rock band or just alt rock band and I definitely do prefer that Incubus. <laughs> Uh, this was a very uh, chill, a very relaxed album to listen to. It was very um, chill and mellow. So it was definitely more right up my alley because I'm more about that music, about the more mellow, uh, depressed sounding music. But it's not exactly just very sad, it's just, you know, very uh, chill. I think it's very cool. Uh, by the way, requested by yours truly Strato Z because I think you know he's a huge Incubus fan because I think he requested like half of their discography right now. Uh, spoiler alert, I do like Incubus but this is definitely their peak. I don't think they're gonna get better than this because this is, this is the album pick for all music and it's usually considered their best album I believe. It's the most acclaimed as well, I think, the most critically acclaimed, so there you go. Uh, we have the first song, Nice To Know You, uh, by the way, the song came out, I think, in uh, 2001, I think? 2000, 2002, 2001. 2001, so this is their first 2000s album. First album of the millennium. Uh, nice To Know You was a very great opening track, had some very mellow, natured kind of sounding songs. Uh, or just kind of, uh, it just sounded like one, so there you go. Uh, yeah, just a very pleasant opening track, very great. Um, Incubus is always very good at delivering that opening track, but you know, it just kind of goes downhill after that, usually. But they do actually, uh, they are actually really consistent on the song, so, though, so I do actually really like that. Uh, the song is heavy in a way, it's more, well, it's more mellow, but you have some, you know, heavy parts, and you have, you know, of course, the DJ scratching. Which I think personally kind of ruins this album in a way. It's a, it, I love this album by the way, it's a great album, spoiler alert, but... I think that this album sounds so mellow and, and it has such a nice kind of... Uh, melodic kind of thing going on with the record. And I think that personally... Um, you know, it's being... Or you know, still having those DJ scratches on there, I think it kind of ruins the album in a way. But it is a Incubus signature, so you know, I can't really deny that. Um, I don't hope you saw what I just did there. You know, otherwise I'm gonna get hate mail for that, so... You know, you gotta grab me in some way though, so shut up. Um, you probably didn't even saw that. Uh, great opening track, I love it. Um, yeah, let's continue. Circles is the second track, pretty uh, kind of a typical Incubus song, but it's a bit more mellow, it's a bit more melodic in a way. I do really like the tone of the song, it sounds very, um, you know, waking up in the morning-esque. It sounds very mellow, very chill, very to my nature in a way, it sounds just very like a great uh, album to listen to in the morning. You know, it's evening uh, around, my t around my area now, but... You know, it's great to listen to in the morning especially. I <laughs> might have given it a higher rating than probably not. Um, yeah, great song, really love this one as well. And another, another classic I think, great second song. Then we got Wish You Were Here, which is pretty much their best song I would say. Uh, great melodies, you know, uh, to compare it with, you know, the obvious Wish You Were Here. It's not that good honestly, but I would say it's their best song, which, you know, some people might say Wish You Were Here is the best Pink Floyd song, arguably. I would say uh, this is easily Incubus' best song. Great melodies on there, great acoustic bits, great opening bit. It kind of picks up the pace later on, uh, but it does stay in a very um, great, consistent pace. It is very quiet and calm. Yeah, just a great song, great melodies, uh, great lyrical content. I believe there's a music video for this because, you know, when I was listening to this on Spotify, you know, it showed a music video, so I suppose so. Great song, I love it. Yeah, I think I think this would this is pretty much like my all-time favorite Incubus song right there. So there you go. Then we get just a face, which is definitely kind of overblown. I would say one of the missteps of the of the album. Not not a bad song, I would say, but it's definitely kind of misguided. It does kind of go on for a bit, and it 
those kind of go back to the you know the old days of Incubus, which I'm not a huge fan of. But it's still decent though, guys. It's still decent song, but it could have been better. Then we have 11 a.m., which is definitely a very appropriate um, uh, song for this album because it's morning view. Uh, I love that you know the album does have kind of a morning theme in a way, and 11 a.m. is no exception exception for that. So. Uh, great theme song, I love it, great atmosphere on the track and yeah, you know, another fitting song for the album. Now we have Blood on the Ground, which is definitely kind of more of a heavy hard rock kind of song. Almost heavy metal, I would say. Um, yeah, the song just does kind of slap you in the face and does kind of say wake up in a way, because it is 11am I suppose. Um, I just really enjoyed this one. Uh, this was a very heavy and brooding track, so definitely uh, pretty diverse and pretty... Uh, yeah, just a breath of fresh air to listen to this one because the album was kind of getting mellow and you know, kind of boring in a way. It was still very entertaining, I think, but it, this kind of became one tone in a way. And Blood on the Ground is kind of a slap in the face, so I do really like that. The only thing I don't like about the song is the title, which reminds me of a very mediocre Michael Jackson album and a very bad band. So, yeah, let's just, just move on there. Uh, Mexico, Do Donald Trump's favorite song. Um, well, I actually did really enjoy this track. It was very diverse, it was very uh, layered in tone. It did sound really interesting to me. Uh, yeah, just overall, very um, enjoyable track as well. Had a lot of great diversity to it. Um, yeah, not a lot to say here. Just great acoustics, great production on the song, and yeah, you know, great song. Now we get Warning, which is uh, definitely not as good as the Green Day song, I would say, but it's definitely uh, right up its alley, I would say. Um, yeah, it's very enjoyable as well. It was one of the music videos, I believe. Um, yeah, kind of mellow, kind of sounds like Green Day's Warning in a way, so it's definitely kind of a nice comparison point, but, you know, not as good, I would say. Um, yeah, great track as well. I loved it. And... Not a lot to say here, just great, great music here. Now we get Echo, which is honestly a, a very vibey kind of song. This is kind of one of those songs you either get or you're either you, you you either don't get it. I get the atmosphere of Echo. It's definitely a interesting song to listen to, but um, I do think that the song is kind of vibey in a way. It does kind of get me out of the experience because it is one of those songs that. You really have to be in the groove to really get it, but it is one of those songs that I do like, but it's too weird for me to love, so I hope that makes sense, you know? Just hit on my lip there, fuck's sake. Um, then we get Have You Ever, which is uh, a pretty polarizing song for me, it didn't really do a lot for me, personally. Um, yeah, it's kind of an overall okay track, I would say, definitely the weakest track of this album so far. It just kind of uh, came in and it just kind of faded out, I suppose. So, you know, none of the songs on there are really that bad, to be honest. But, you know, um, well, you know, some songs are really great on this album, so there you go. None of them are really that bad, but the worst songs are still kind of mediocre. And that is Have You Ever, so there you go. Now we get Are You In, which was a very uh, great, diverse song from everything that we've heard from the band so far. Some, you know, great melodic riffs, some great atmosphere on the record. Uh, some great acoustic bits, some great kind of like hard rock moments. More more in the alternative art rock kind of style, that's how Rachel Music rates it. Uh, alternative rock, art rock, sorry to say that fucking five times in a row. You know, the Rachel Music thing. Uh, so this was definitely a really diverse song. I really love the solo on there. I really love the production. The production was really cool. Really great layering, kind of psychedelic effects, so that was definitely a step in the right direction for me. Uh, yeah, just a very enjoyable track, very diverse, very colorful to listen to, and an overall joy to listen to. So, yeah, listen to it. There you go. Now we got Under My Umbrella, which is, um, I would say, not as misguided as Have You Ever, because that song just sounded like filler. But it is kind of an underwhelming song, because it is between two of my favorite songs on the album, Are You In, and the upcoming song. Uh, yeah, personally I was not really digging Under My Umbrella, it was kind of cheesy, it was kind of cliche. It's not my least favorite track that would be Have You Ever, but it's still kind of in the eh, you know, I can't do without category. Uh, yeah, which I guess you could have skipped this and no one would have given, given a shit, so there you go. Uh, and then we get 
uh, aqueous transmission which is very uh, it's a very samey song but I love this song because it's in uh, it's basically a Chinese song kind of like uh, in or Indian kind of like a Chinese culture uh, kind of song um, I just love to listen to Chinese music so this song was of course you know a joy to listen to because this is literally just a Chinese loop for like almost eight minutes. It's the longest song on the album. Uh, it is one of those songs that is, um, well, it is one of those songs that you know is samey in a way. It is almost an epic because it repeats. It is a loop, but it's kind of like a death punk loop. It's very addictive. It's very great to listen to. I don't mind it getting looped because. I don't mind getting looped because it is just a very great track to listen to, so I don't mind it. Um, it is one of my favorites because I love to listen to Chinese music, you know, traditional, classic Chinese music. I love that stuff. Um, the one flaw I have with this song though, you know, it's not, my, it's not my number one favorite song of this album, but the one flaw I have with it though is that it goes on for like almost 8 minutes. And I do love to listen to it though, but... I'm kind of wondering, does it really need to be nearly 8 minutes? But you know, it's kind of a nitpick, I still love the song, but it's, I'm just wondering, did it really need to be 8 minutes? It could have been just 4 or 5 and I could have, you know, that would have been it. I um, would have been a bit more consistent, but you know, or a bit more, you know, uh, consumable, a bit more, you know, uh, it would have had a more appropriate length for how Incubus is, I suppose, you know, a bit more of a shorter in your face kind of band. But uh, I have to say, Morning View is a very mature and a very adult, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Just a very mature, very intricate, or intricate is not the right word. It's just a very uh, melodic, mellow, atmospheric, kind of um, changing, very unique album. Very original for the band. This does definitely remind me of something, you know, like... Opeth's Damnation of or something, you know, which I love, I love that album. So it definitely reminds me of good stuff, I love Damnation by Opeth. And yeah, I really love this album, I think it's a great album, it does remind me of, you know, an amazing band as well, so... Uh, yeah, I think this is easily Incubus's best album, I love the production on this album, I love pretty much every song on this album. Um, I think the album cover is amazing. I love the, the blue ocean with the kind of, you know, the back, uh, the black shadows, you know. I love that album cover with the red lettering complementing the blue sea. I love that album cover. Easily the best album cover, easily the best album, I would say. Easily the most mature album. Easily their biggest, you know, um, biggest step in quality, the biggest upgrade in quality, I would say. So or upgrade, their, their biggest step up in quality, there you go. Uh, yeah, so I, I will give this album a 9 out of 10. It's a great album, I love it. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not giving it a higher rating or a 10 out of 10 because I don't care for Heavy Ever that much. I, you know, that's my least favorite track. Under My Umbrella was kind of an underwhelming song because it was pretty much uh, sandwich, sandwiched uh, between Two of my favorite songs, you know, same thing goes for Circles, which is still a good song, I think. Uh, yeah, so really great songs on this album, really great album cover, production is fantastic. So, near flawless album, 9 out of 10. And I think it's, you know, it's their album pick, it's like the highest rated Incubus album. So, it's gonna go downhill from here, but, you know, at least I did love one album from, from the band. Morning View is a great album, I love this album. But I probably will not like, you know, their post morning view discography but if you still want to request it you know you, you can uh strato z has the has the floor right now he can either die a hero or see himself becoming um or see himself be becoming the villain you know uh, well what's the thing he can either die a hero or live long enough to see himself become the villain there you go uh, yeah, so, so Strategy has the option to end it here, to end Incubus on a high note because, you know, from ratings that I've seen, I know that the band is going to go downhill after this album. So if you want to, you know, leave me on a good taste with this band, leave it off here. But if you do want me to continue and, you know, ruin the experience that I have with this band right now, then continue. I don't, I don't you know, I don't mind it either way. I like this band, so... 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in good terms with them now because I love this album. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this album in the comments down below. I really love this, so there you go. Um, yeah, I'm Omnus. Um, let me know what you think about the album. I think it started out and it ended amazingly. And I, I even think the middle is really good. So, there you go. I think only like an early track and like a later track were kind of iffy. That's, that's kind of it, honestly. So, uh, let me know what you think about the album in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you just like one, you know, the usual shit. Do that and uh, it's appreciated. Thanks.